Hi guys, so today I'm super super excited. I get to take you out onto the cloud garden to give you my very very first cloud garden balcony tour. I hope you got your splash ready. I actually feel like Mariah Carey on MTV Cribs. <laughs> anyway, let me take you outside. Welcome to my city centre sanctuary. For an introduction to myself and to the cloud garden, check out my video Cloud Talk 1. I'll leave a link below in the description box. 95% of what you see on this garden I've grown myself from seed or from bare roots. If you're a balcony gardener or maybe a container gardener, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to show you how to grow absolutely everything that I've got up in here. decided to start this channel to encourage people to use their outdoor space when they're living in city centres. It's also really hard to find gardening videos dedicated to balcony gardeners or container gardeners. This is an 18th floor balcony with a south facing view. This video is just a snippet for what I have. We're on the left hand side of the balcony and on this side of the balcony it gets the least amount of sunshine. Later on in summer, it balances out and the whole balcony gets the same amount of sun. But for the moment, this side gets a bit of partial shade. That makes it absolutely perfect for all of my salads. So let me show you what I've got on this side. This herb part I grew myself using the techniques for my indoor herb playlist. I believe these are going to be Brussels sprouts, but I could be wrong because as you can see I have not done any form of labelling so I've got no idea. It's a wait and see kind of thing. <laughs> and here I've got this shard, it's looking really nice. And some more salads here, so I've got some miso, some more spinach. And if you see my cut and come again video, you'll recognize this leak. It's kind of just moved over, it's doing its own little thing here. <laughs> I don't really understand, but it is what it is. Over winter, I've been growing baby salads and then just harvesting them as and when. Here, I've got some really, really beautiful chard and spinach as well. And these are amazing. All winter I've been cutting and harvesting and they just keep growing right back. Absolutely stunning. I just love how the leaves catch the sunlight. It really pains me every time I eat them. Again, if you see my cut and come again video, you'll probably recognize this little pack joy. The warm weather out here caused it to bolt. So I'm just gonna allow it to go to seed and then I'm gonna have my own seeds. This here is my hydrangea. Let me pick it up. Now, fortunately, she got damaged in the storm, but she's really bounced back. And she looks awesome. I haven't named her, so if you got a name let me know in the comments i'm not really the biggest fan of hydrangeas um so i got her just to help me change my mind don't hate me don't be sending me no messages <laughs> and then here i've got my foxgloves and down there del delphiniums i'm super super excited it looks like my Mustard is about to start to flower. This will 
probably come as no surprise, but this is my favourite feature at the moment of the Cloud Garden, and it's my little water feature, my little pond. To see how I made it, check out my balcony pond video. These nasturtiums overwintered from last year, and my plan is for them to climb up the trellis. The solar panel here is for the underwater light. Behind this pot, there's another one for the solar fountain. I'll be attaching both to the trellis. Here I've got a couple of pots of lupins which I've grown from bare root. And yes, I have a video for that too. These yellow containers will be turned upside down and in them I'm going to be planting hollyhocks, delphiniums and the foxgloves. And my aim is to have towers and towers and towers of cut flowers are then tied into the trellis as they grow. The seed packet said that this was a purple salvia, but I guess not. I don't care because I think she's beautiful. But if you know what she is, please let me know in the comments below. As I'm going back to work, I'm so behind. But here, I've got some of my garden peas and they're already flowering. My next day off, I'm going to use this string to make a makeshift trellis for them to grow up. So, down here, I've got my very own raised bed. <laughs> All I did was just buy a plastic tote. I think it cost me around about uh, four, four pounds. And in here, I've got my lettuce, garlic, and spinach. And what I hope to do is put something a little bit bigger that's going to vine up this trellis here, the arch. And that way, it should give a bit of protection to the salads that I've got in the tote. raised bed number two now in here I've got my sweet potatoes and the idea is I'm gonna get them to trellis up the top here and then for the rest of the raised bed I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna put in here I'm thinking maybe something like peppers so I've got the sweet potatoes forming in the bottom of the toad and then of course at the top I've then got the peppers to grow up Eventually, they'll find their way all the way to the top of the trellis. So, on this side of the garden is my brassica patch. So, I've got some giant red cabbages, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and, and I've also got some kale as well, some dinosaur kale. These are around about five or six months old and once again they've done nothing all winter because there's absolutely no sunlight on this balcony from October but now now that they're catching the sun they are absolutely massive I mean the leaves are, the leaves are almost as big as my hand I really, really hope this balcony tour inspires you to make use of your outside space. For me, this balcony has been key to getting my mental health back on track. Plus, as you can see, I'm now self-sufficient when it comes to salads. As the weather starts to warm up, I'm going to be including more and more cut flowers into my balcony garden. If you've seen my pest and pollinators video, you know that my own balcony ecosystem is a bit different. So I've introduced my own pollinators and beneficial insects. With my balcony pond, I've managed to create my own ecosystem up here. Right here is my black currant bush. This thing was a twig around about uh, two months or so ago, and it's now beginning to come to life. And when you get closer, you can start to see, I think I'm gonna have some fruit this year. Last, time, last year, I had nothing, so I was really, really gutted, but it looks like this year I might be successful and 
hoping that I'll be able to make my own jam. <laughs> How geeky is that? bush was literally a twig as well so to see the two of them coming to life I, I, I'm so excited I can't wait now this little guy managed to push out one little passion fruit last year and he's looking a bit ropey he shed a load of leaves over winter but we look closer my guy's starting to push out some new vines come on so the plan for the arches i'm gonna have passion flowers jasmine and also some morning glory flowers growing all along so it should look then what I'm going to do is have some pots on the side and I'm going to have some trailing flowers on there as well. So probably some nasturtiums and I might even try some tumbling tom tomatoes as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this cloud garden tour. I really really hope this video encourages you and inspires you to make the most of your outside space as well. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel as well. Hopefully, I'll get to see you in the next video. See you again soon. Bye.